Hello everyone and welcome back to the forexboat.com. Victor with you here again. Welcome back and today is Monday. We will start a fresh trading week with pound versus New Zealand dollar. I would like to remind you all the information in this video is for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. First off, let's go through previous ideas that we had. And uh, the oldest one was Yera versus GBP. Now, this trade has been stopped out. Basically, the stop would have been kicked out here. This tells me that uh, either Euro is getting strong or Pound is getting weak. Moving on to the Canadian Japanese Yen, this trade is valid. We had entry here at the top, still expecting the Japanese Yen to be strong. Euro versus Australian dollar still going down well not still but it continues our initial idea was right there now this hard stop loss can be moved just above this high right there so the trade is still valid and we expect this target to be reached the euro australian dollar is going down pound new zealand dollar is the trade that we expect we can make some conclusion that it's australian dollar and new zealand dollar are getting very very strong on the other hand we can make a conclusion that the euro and the pound is getting weak but nevertheless let's continue to move on uh, pound swiss franc this the idea i was expecting uh to post on monday although price went far too low we need to see how how market will react so here is no idea i think that the pair might continue going down further on the Swiss franc Japanese yen, this is our idea that we had. For our chart, we are at this resistance. What we was speaking about on Friday is to wait and see the closing price. We had the perfect closing price of the week below the resistance. This trade is valid, is on, it can be open. So Monday opening was the idea to get in the trade. So would have been about 110.25 entry. And I still do think it will go be going heavily down. So this trade is definitely valid. Stop loss on four hour or even daily close above ideal. But we also need to watch this moving averages. So far, so good. The resistance is holding. So the trade is on. Now, finally, we will move to our idea for this Monday, for this week as well. It's a pound versus New Zealand dollar. What we have is a clearly a downtrend correction lower lows lower highs are being printed it's a clear tendency for uh, bearish momentum what we have is a very strong support form formed right there you can see the daily failed to close below this level at uh, 2.0040 area and if we move now this is the fibonacci actually i have used applied to this initial wave okay uh, I haven't used this higher point because if we go on the weekly chart, we can see that this was the highest point. Then price failed to close above this level. It was actually next week opening price. It wasn't a closing price. So we never closed above price produced spike and then failed to break and close above the spike as well. So uh, this is my original Fibonacci and I do uh use this 50 percent corrective move now moving back to the uh, daily chart we can see that the this first initial bounce was on this 50 percent level then we had spikes 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 but uh never broke below it also corresponds with the two moving averages exponential and simple and price is likely to retest these levels on the daily chart and this is why I think we will be going down throughout this week. Moving on to the forward chart, uh, we have rejection of the exponential moving average right there. Price broke below, rejected it, simple moving average and exponential once again, and produced low lows, low lows. Uh, and now we had this nice correction. The correction was stopped yet again at the simple moving average it didn't reach it and uh, and price started to move uh, lower we can see here is that clearly uh, was a strong support formed price retested it this time it is a resistance now this is our target and it's not 
a big move for the pound New Zealand dollar. Could be some range trading, could be even spikes to attempt to break higher, very possible. But I think the key level is this 2.0601. Only if we break and close on the daily above, this will completely invalidate the bearish outlook. But up until this point, uh, it's still very, very bearish. Now, finally, 30 minutes chart. Here is also interesting since we broke both moving averages, simple and exponential. Here, after the breakout and closed below the exponential moving average, price went back and rejected simple moving average. Now, yet again, lower lows, lower highs. At the same time, another rejection of the uh, simple moving average right there. And finally, I have used um, the last wave to the downside, applied FIPS to it. We can see 76.4 FIPS rejected cleanly. Uh, along with the moving average. Now, price is aiming again to move lower. Yet again, we produced a new lower low. The entry point for the short could be anywhere between this area of 2.0370 and perhaps 2.0330. Any correction, strong correction, strong pullbacks should be treated as a nice entry. Besides, we can see the rejection of the downtrend trend line here as well. Maybe price will attempt uh, to produce the spike above, and this could be a good entry level if this correction will occur. So 2.0370 area would be perfect for selling. Now, I have applied another FIPS to this correction where the FIPS were rejected. And if I move down, we can see that our target, which was 50% on the daily chart, 50% FIPS, clearly corresponds to 561.8 FIPS. On the 30-minute chart, just apply the correction after this corrective wave, after breaking the moving averages and rejecting the trend line. So the target for this move is 2.0055 approximately, and this is where I expect price to be within a couple of weeks. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, smash the like and subscribe to our channel to see more great ideas. So have a profitable trading and I'll speak to you in just a couple of days.